motion. The very thing that allows all of our everyday tasks and appliances to work. From the propulsion systems of great ocean liners to the rolls of tape in this very film. In this motion picture, inertia will be presented to you, how it works and how it affects us. Sir Isaac Newton, the creator of Newton's first law. The law of inertia is as follows. Every object persists in its state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless it is compelled to change that state by forces impressed on it. This simply meaning that an object at rest or in motion will retain this state unless something else compels it to change this state of motion by other forces exerted upon it. A body at rest tends to stay at rest. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. Has your mother or father ever told you how express trains take so many miles to stop completely? This is an example of inertia at work. Similarly, April of 1912, White Star Line's great engineering masterpiece, the RMS Titanic, struck an iceberg on the starboard side of her bow. Oh, how desperately she wanted to stop. But with an impact force of about 13,600,000 tons, the equivalent of 37 express trains combined, inertia kept her going. The RMS Titanic sliced right through the iceberg, slitting a long gash nearly a third of the way down the starboard side of her hull. The amount of inertia an object has depends on that object's mass. For instance, an anvil has more inertia than a paper box. The inertia will make the anvil at rest harder to accelerate than the paper box. The object at rest tends to stay at rest. With more inertia due to the larger mass of the anvil, the anvil is harder to move from its state of rest. Similarly, the other way around, an anvil in motion tends to stay in motion, making it harder to stop than the paper box. You also have to remember that mass is not the same thing as volume or size. The paper box weighing 2 kilograms has less inertia than the anvil weighing 50 kilograms. Mass is measured in kilograms. The inertia is dependent on the mass. Mass is also not weight. Weight is simply the measure of the force of gravity acting upon an object. Your weight on Earth and in outer space may be severely different, but your mass does not change. In the absence of net force, an object's state of motion does not change. The net force is the combination of all the forces applied to an object. If an object is being pulled in one way with equal force as another thing pulling it in the opposite direction, the net force is zero, and the object does not move. The term for an object with a net force of zero is the equilibrium. If one of the pulling forces were to be two newtons greater than the other, the object's net force would be two newtons. As you can now see, inertia plays a huge role in motion in our everyday lives. Inertia, what keeps our tables still and keeps our ships moving, in situations either good or bad, we would not be here without it. <laughs>